We thank you for your enriched word that will come forth. We thank you for Black History Month. Not only Black History Month, but biblical Black History. Where we can teach Black people their true history. We can break the power of deception and lies that have been taught through the years. And we can deliver your people in their mind, in their spirit, and in their bodies. In Yeshua's name, Jesus' name. And they all said, Amen. Well, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a series that we're going to do a couple, two or three series on biblical black history, story of our people. Amen. You may not know, but your history has been given to other people. Yes, that's true. That's the fact. Years, and that's why we are in the condition that we're in. Uh -huh. We're full of trauma and drama. Trauma and drama. But you know what? Trauma and drama, if you want, can make bring the best out of you. Amen. Again, the reason why a lot of y'all ain't God ain't getting the best out of you because you ain't going through that. Come on, yep, now. Yep. You want to be real relaxed and stay in control oh, no. of everything, but that ain't the way it works. Life is look. full of trauma. Yes, and it is. Drama. I've been having drama and trauma all my life. I just now found out what it was. You know, it ain't bad luck. Now you're just going through trauma. Yes. Uh, I'm not cursed. I'm blessed. Uh -huh. yeah. yes, uh, and you know, I, one of the things that I can kind of testify about living a while is that we're losing our young folks. Uh -huh. In fact, can I say this? We've lost most of them. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They like to run to churches where all these big lights and, and all this funny stuff going on, mm -hmm. but that's not the way of God. Mm -hmm. I heard one great soul winner say, uh, David Wilkerson, one of the mm -hmm. greatest soul winners of all times, mm -hmm. I think, because I read his book, Crossing the Switchblade. <laughs> Evidently, God must have sent him down to Harlem and Spanish Harlem and all those terrible, terrible places back in the 60s. That's where Mickey Cruz come out of, one of another great soul, a Puerto Rican, uh -huh. one of the great soul winners. Anytime you go in a community and they pull a gun on you and shoot it, three or four times and, and it don't go off. Uh -huh. God has sent you there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and while he was going through the community, the cab driver stopped six, seven blocks before he even got there. He said, this is far as I know. Mm -hmm. He said, the last cab driver went through there and got killed. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but that's just let you know the days that we are and times that we're living in. But oh, yeah. we're losing uh -huh. our young people. And young folk, I hope some of y'all listening mm -hmm. to me over YouTube, we're losing you. But we want to Try to bring you, reel you back in. Uh -huh. You know, the condition of the world is so bad. I, I just don't blame the children. Mm -hmm. I blame the family. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. huh. I blame the family. Mm -hmm. I blame the parents. I blame the man. Come on, man. Uh -huh. I haven't been the best father. There's a lot of things wrong with me. I, cost, I didn't know how to be a father. Uh -huh. You know, you can be raised up in the church. I mean, hey, they ain't teaching how to be a father. They ain't teaching. You ain't learning nothing. Yeah. That's true. You know, and I found out I was raised in the church, but nobody stepped in to teach me uh, how not to do right, how not to do wrong. Uh -huh. You know, huh. they told me the right thing to do, but how can I stop doing what I'm doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, is it possible <laughs> to stop doing all this evil huh. I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, it is possible when you trust God. But when anyway, God. Uh, we're, we're, we're losing so many of our black children, uh -huh. teenagers, and I'm wondering why. It's because there's no more priests in the home. Mm, that's tough. Our fathers have not been taught how to raise a family. Uh -huh. And the reason why that they're in the penitentiary for murder or whatever it is because they weren't taught the mm. right way of God. Uh -huh. Most of them. Uh -huh. And somehow they got off. But you know, history is a way. Now, history can't save you. Mm -hmm. But history can bring you to salvation. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, learning you know. about history, it can't save mm -hmm. you, but it's good to know. Yes. Because history is not salvation. Jesus, Yeshua, yes. is our salvation. Amen, amen. And I'm pretty sure Jesus wants us to know about our true history. That's true. Okay. Uh, we're losing our young folks to sex, drugs, the rejection of God. Mm -hmm. Most people, young and old, they reject, especially black folk, they reject. God. They hate the church. Why? Because so many movies depict that the church people are evil people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You look uh -huh. at some of these movies that uh, our great producers, Tyler Perry and all of them, 
A lot of them, and you know, he bring out a lot of good stuff. Of course, uh -huh. it's true. Uh -huh. But overall, people have this concept that the people in the church are terrible people. Uh -huh. But you know what? The church I went to and this church, there's some godly people. Amen. Glory to God. You're a godly people. Amen. Thank you. God. I trust you. You're mm -hmm. a godly people. Uh -huh. So I disagree with Hollywood saying that the church is a terrible. No, it's not. See, when you talk about the church, you're talking about Christ. Because uh -huh. Christ is the church. He's the head of the church. Amen. All right. Uh, what is the free? Let me, Hosea 4, 6, and we're going to work toward this. Hosea 4, 6, what does it say? Hosea 4, 6 is one thing that we should all be familiar with. Yeah. Hosea 4, 6. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Yes, sir. My people are destroyed. What people? My people. My people. Biblical Hebrews and the Bible. My people. Are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Are destroyed. Oh my goodness. You talk about destruction in America, mm -hmm. in the black community, mm -hmm. because of the lack of the right kind mm -hmm. of knowledge. A lot of people have knowledge, but they don't have the right kind. That's true. See, all that you learn to educate your five senses is good, mm -hmm. but you need spiritual education. Amen. And that comes by being born again. Yeah. Uh huh. That spirit needs to be changed. Yes. I can understand how people go to church and they say they are Christian and they're on the deacon board, they sing in the choir, but there's no change in their life. Help, Lord, help. Did you know you could go to hell from the church? Yes. And it looks like that's where most people are going. Going to hell from the church. That ain't no good. The church should be packed out. So what? COVID is out there. Everything else is out there. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah. I looked at my team the other night the Lakers, and that place was jam packed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some people had a mask on, and some people didn't. Uh -huh. Well, if you can get that many people at a ball game, people should be enthused about coming to church serving God, but they're yes, not. Let's say. Oh, my God. You know, we pretty well do what we want to do, don't we? That's true. Let's face it. That's it. Man, I struggled staying in that house. Mm. Oh, my God. I started to open the door and just run out of there. <laughs> oh, man. I looked at TV. I ate up everything. Uh oh. Morning. Uh -huh. I almost got in an argument. Uh -oh. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. <laughs> that house, man, I don't Some people can stay in the house. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to stay in no house. I got to keep out the door, raise up a window, do uh -huh. something, man. Oh, boy. But anyway, so much for that. We're going to move on here. Jose said, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Mm -hmm. Hold it right there. Knowledge is what? Know how. Uh huh. You all that going to school and, and getting an education, that's know-how. Mm -hmm. Know-how. Hmm. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. We need knowledge now. We are not. Daniel said in the last days that knowledge was going to increase. To increase. It's uh -huh. going to double. Uh -huh. Not only knowledge in the world, but the people in the word of God is going to uh -huh. double. Amen. It used to be knowledge double every two years. Now it's every, what, three months? Shoot, quicker than that. You can go I, online I, and learn. You can go online and find anything mm -hmm. you want now. Praise God. Go ahead and read some more of that. Because thou hast rejected because knowledge. Thou, listen to me, black people, white people, brown, yellow, whatever. Because thou has rejected. Uh -huh. What does the word reject mean? You don't want. Mm -hmm. Why is it that mm -hmm. they don't want God and God is providing all this stuff that they have, but they don't want God? Uh huh. Hmm. Oh America is in her last stages. Anything can happen now. Uh huh. I wouldn't be surprised if a nuke, a nuke is shot in some big cities mm -hmm. and millions of people die. I wouldn't yeah. be shocked oh, if yeah. an earthquake come and shake up the whole west, east coast of the Midwest. I don't mm. know. Hey, I'm not going to be surprised what happens now. Mm. That's tough. But in spite of all that, God promised that he was going to be with his people. Hmm? Mm. They may have trauma. I ain't got it. Mm -hmm. And then when I do get it, I know how to get delivered. Amen. Amen. Uh, God Amen. is my refuge and strength. Uh -huh. A very present time. Very, very present, present help in the in time, time of what? Trouble. trouble. Hmm. We know what else to say. I will also reject thee. I will also reject mm. That's tough. you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my God. When a nation rejects the teaching of God, mm -hmm. then God rejects it. Mm -hmm. God tried to save Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he mm -hmm. tried his best to save it. 
He said, listen, y'all can find 50 people. That's tough. You can find 40, uh -huh. 30, yeah. 20. He dropped all the way down to what, 10? 10, 10 uh -huh. And then what, five? Five, yeah. That's tough. Sodom Gomorrah was an illustrious place. It was full of prosperity mm -hmm. and money. And, oh, it was beautiful. Mm. But they wouldn't turn from their homosexuality. Mm -hmm. So what did God do? See, you don't want to make God. Y'all just listen to me. Don't make God angry. Please don't. Mm -hmm. Repent. Yes. Come on, I'm going to be talking about black history. Come on here. Hey, every <laughs> time I'm in the Bible, in the Old it's Testament, I'm talking history. about black history. Amen. Come on here. Read on. Thou shall be no priest to me. No priest. There's no priest in the home. There's no authority. There's no teaching. Uh huh. God is called uh, the man, the head of the house, to be the priest. Yes. The one that teaches, the one that loves his wife and takes care of his children. Uh huh. Amen. Where they at? Help, Lord. Help. Oh, my God. Hmm. Read on, and we're going to move on. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Seeing thou hast forgotten. Law, not only in the Old Testament, but the New Testament too. Uh -huh. We have forgotten God, mm -hmm. his ways, and the way that God wants us to live, and the way God wants us to treat one another. Uh -huh. See, you don't know God if you treat your brother wrong. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. I know God and I hate Mario. Come on, you don't know God. I, I love God. I mean, you know, even your enemies, you got to love them. <laughs> See, the Old true. Testament told you to kick them behind. Yeah. Jesus came along and said, oh, my God. Oh, boy. Thank you, Father. <laughs> do good to him and pray yeah. for him. Uh -huh. Those family members that do all this evil to you, just uh -huh. pray for him. Uh -huh. Evidently, some mm -hmm. of y'all been praying for your family members because they 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 turning around now. Amen. Amen. Huh? They're mm -hmm. turning around. Mm -hmm. God's going to turn the situation around. <laughs> Amen. Okay. After we've talked about them and ridiculed them, okay, now when are we going to start praying for them? Mm -hmm. huh. We know they, and they think, we say they no good, but they say we ain't no good. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. when is it going to stop? Uh -huh. Yeah, they think they something up in that church. Uh -huh. Y'all know how we talk. That's real. They hmm. think they something because they got a house on the hill. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you know what? That's you put a house on the hill, somebody got to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, glory to God. God. All right, all right. Is that all of that? God all said right. he would forget who? He said, I will also forget thy children. I will forget the next generation. Mm -hmm. What have we sown in our children? Mm -hmm. And then not only our children, our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. They all running wild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got one close one that I can talk to them, but when I start talking about God, they get turned off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I take I one and then I left uh I said, give Jesus, give God the, the praise. Mm -hmm. And after that, it was nothing else. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. We're in, God. We're in a pitiful mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. Well, God, you mentioned the name of God or give Jesus praise, and it turns them off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you and I to do what to pray. Praise for them. Uh huh. And the seed. All right. All right. Come on here, Mari. What else to say? Is that all of that? Uh, that's all of six. Okay. That's all of them. Okay. Listen. Let me tell you one thing. If you can't get Genesis right, you're not going to get the Bible right. Mm. Because Genesis is your beginning. Uh -huh. If you can't get that right mm -hmm. and get that in proper perspective, mm -hmm. then nothing else is going to fall in place. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear me? Huh. If Genesis is not right, then the rest of the Bible is not going to piece in. Uh -uh. You know, and, and baby Christians, yeah, I'm all for it. When you get saved, you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, uh -huh. and that's good. Yeah. But Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is talking about a Savior. Uh -huh. And the Savior was way back in the book of Genesis. Oh, he yeah. prophesied that he's coming. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So the Old Testament is nothing but a reiteration. The New Testament is just saying what the Old Testament has uh -huh. already prophesied. Uh -huh. That's true. Yeah. So if you get Genesis right, they talk about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Abraham, the blessings of Abraham was going to fall on the Gentiles uh -huh. because of Abraham. His name changed to Ham because he's going to be the father of many nations. Many nations. So he changed from Abram to Abraham. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Amen. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself, but come on here. All right. Uh, 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 what did I tell you? What else? Okay. Go to the book of uh, Acts 17 26. And we're going to launch off. Acts 17 26. 
Acts 17, 26. Acts chapter 17, uh -huh. verse 26. 26, first thing. Amen. I want you to sit right here on this front row. I'm going to kind of work you a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. In the car that you were sitting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold this book right here. Really. Yeah. You got that? Uh, 1726? Yes, sir. And he hath made of one blood all nations of men. All nations. Nation means people. Uh huh. All people. Come on. For to dwell on all the face of the earth. To dwell on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And have determined the times before appointed and, and the bounds of their habitation. Right. The bounds of where they're going to live at. Mm hmm. God is taking one blood, and one blood comes from uh, one mm -hmm. man. Uh -huh. And one man through one man, I'm going to show you here who that man was, that all nations would prosper. Mm -hmm. They have a right to the tree of life. Mm -hmm. One blood. Why is it that when they're asking for blood now, mm -hmm. some of y'all got rare blood, they need your blood if you want to go down there. Now they pay for it, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was in the service, man, and you know, we got paid once a month, but you know, soldiers get broke. <laughs> I go down there to that blood mobile and give blood. I think they gave you eight dollars. Oh boy. You know, <laughs> I like, give it a lot of them soldiers live down there, you know, because most of them are drunkards and dope. But anyway, that's tough. Hey man, you know, you get broke, you you do They're a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. <laughs> well, in the book of Acts, Apostle Paul said, out of one blood, uh -huh. God has made mm -hmm. all men to huh. dwell. On the face of the earth. You know it's been God's will for us to live and get along together. Yes. That's but true. because of sin, sin. Uh -huh. it has destroyed everything. You know, I look at families now. Families have just been totally just destroyed now. Uh -huh. Nobody gets along hard, man. And everybody said, I ain't talking about outside, I'm talking about right right within your own family. Uh-huh. Hmm. I got one loved one and, and I haven't been able to see him. But you know, and I know what's happening. You know, he's he's gone away. Huh. You know, he's going in the he's in the penitentiary. Mm, yeah. But nobody says it. But then you know, I experience people that yeah. I know what's going on. Yeah. And that's good that you can keep that. Uh huh. But you know, I, I used to ask about him all the time, but now I, I get the mm -hmm. the picture. Yeah. I know what's going on. Yeah. So what I do? Pray for him. Amen. Pray for his deliverance. Uh huh. All right, all Amen. right. We're Amen. going there. Okay, we're coming on down. Now I want you to get me uh, that post with Carter Wilson. You've got to, black people, you've got to learn history mm -hmm. about us. Did you know that it was a black man that invented the refrigeration? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh it was. He invented the icebox. Uh-huh. I didn't know that until a couple of years ago. Huh. That's tough. Yeah. It's all kind of stuff, too. Oh, man. So many things. So many things. Mm hmm Carver, listen, Carver was a slave, and he was castrated because of evil white folk. Mm hmm Oh, boy, that's cold. Carver was so smart and so brilliant until President Roosevelt, I think, uh -huh. came to his door mm -hmm. and thanked him for all the intentions. Mm-hmm. And he did. Mm -hmm. Carter J. Wood, I mean, not Carter, uh, Carver, he said, my inventions is for the people not to get rich. Mm -hmm. It's for the people to enjoy. Uh -huh. He invented so many uses with a peanut. Huh. I'm amazed when I go down to uh, see his, uh, what's that thing they have down there by Carter and Diamond? I'm amazed at all the white people be, be, be down there. Huh. I just count. You can count the black folks. That's, uh, it's because our minds have been what locked up. Help, Lord, help. Hmm. You know, our help minds us. are more penitentiary and sex-driven and all this other ignorant stuff. That's sad. Uh, it's some of the most brilliant young men in the penitentiary. Yep, that's true. Should be so. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But now they're spending time and life behind the bar. That's sad. Because they have been what mis. Educated. Educated. Mm -hmm. Carter G. Wilson, he, he he was a he was some man. He was a scholar. Uh -huh. And he went to Harvard, I think it was, y'all mm -hmm. correct me, but he went to Harvard University, one of the prestigious universities. Huh. And he graduated. Amen. 
That's the answer. I'm almost 100 years ago, you come out of school, I believe school, uh-huh. and let me know you got it going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Nicole Jones, that I mean, wrote the book 1619. Okay. Mm-hmm. Brilliant scholar. Huh. The House of Representatives, what's that man name? I can't think of his name. But he don't want the book. And most white folks, they don't want the book to be taught huh. in school. Why? Huh. Because it tells you how evil they've been. Boy, that's tough. George Washington had 126 slaves. He married a woman, her husband died, and he come on the scene. Oh, boy. Hmm. And you know what people do when they enslave people? Uh-huh. They mistreat them, they rape them. Uh-huh. They abuse them. Mm-hmm. And they don't want this to be known. Mm-hmm. But they can take your history, so-called history that they invented, and say that you curse and you're the scum of the earth. That's tough. And they talk that for years. Uh-huh. Religiously. Uh-huh. That's why they don't want you in their church. But you know, the white church has failed, so they want black folk now. <laughs> That's sad. White folks ain't going to church either. Yeah. So what they doing? They recruiting more hot to some color guys <laughs> over here. <laughs> they welcome you now. Help, Lord. Help. Because the church in America is what? Falling. Yep. Dave Wilson said before he died, he said they had invented a church, an urban church. Hmm. The things that folk didn't like in the church, if people told you the right thing to do, then they say, we're going to correct that. Uh-huh. And that's why these urban churches are flourishing. Yeah. Because I can go to church, I can keep doing what I want to do. do. Yeah. And go to heaven. Yeah. You will lie. Mm-hmm. Don't let some people lie to you. Oh, no. Hmm? They want that money. They want to go to a church, and I'm free to say what I want to say. Uh-huh. But a man is spitting on folk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that hurt, don't it? <laughs> Help, Lord. That's it. And y'all know that ain't no gospel. Mm-hmm. He need to be corrected and sit on the side and let older ministers like me help him in the ministry. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. But they won't listen. Uh-uh. You know why folk don't listen? Because they in that money. Right. The mm-hmm. devil out, buy you out. Mm-hmm. In church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so much going on that y'all don't know. You think you'd be happy in a big church? Go right in. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, white folks are so smart. Even though you're going to that, they're not gonna let you in on they mess because you're black. That's sad too. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh my God. I wish I had someone to say amen. Uh, amen. True. Carter J. Wilson was an educator and he taught about black people. He, one thing about Carter, he knew our people. He said, We've been so trained to go to the back door. Even if the man tells you, you can come in the front door. We're so trained. Train. We'll go back to the back door. Yeah. Because <clears throat> he's been systematically trained that that's where I'm supposed to be. That's tough. Rosa Parks woke up. And she said, I ain't in my seat to no white folks. You crazy. Mm. I'm tired. I've been on my feet all day. Uh-huh. And I got to get up because he want to sit down. Uh-huh. Oh, my dead body. Boy, that's tough. That's tough. You know, white people come in, you got to get up. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to get up. I get up, I'm going to go upside <laughs> your head. Help, Lord. That's help. the way I used to think in the old days, uh-huh. okay? <laughs> I'm going to show you what a real behind movie is. <laughs> but anyway, so much for that. But she didn't give up her seat, and the rest. Is history. Mm-hmm. Can you see what we can do when we protest and stick together? Uh-huh. The bus company was going broke. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Why? Because there were no riders. Why? Because somebody, God is looking for somebody to take a stand. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. The reason why they don't teach your history with these great Bible colleges is because Dr. Johnson said, because you are not important. Mm. That's sad. Uh... Mm. Did y'all hear what I said? Uh-huh. They teach on everything as these evangelical preachers. They teach on everything else but mm-hmm. biblical black history. Why? Because it would destroy the myth mm-hmm. of a white Jesus. Mm. That's cold. I've always thought mm. and always was taught that Jesus was a white man. Mm-hmm. And when people always drill something in you and say this, it's just the opposite. Hmm. Mm. Oh, they're your friend as long as you don't, as long as you ain't can't find out Jesus was black. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How people tickle me. Praise the Lord, brother. Yeah. Jesus was black, man. What? Mm-hmm. Oh boy. He ain't your mm. friend no more. <laughs> if he's your friend 
And you can talk about black people, you got a friend. <laughs> and you tough. can say Jesus was a non-white person, you still got a friend. Yeah, that's tough. Hmm. Our churches in the black community, they don't teach them about no black history. We so used to rail squalling and hollering and all that huh. until we ain't learned nothing. After 400 years, where have we got? That's sad. Yeah, the true person. I like that good hmm. squalling preachers. Boy, they show sure, boy, they can preach you happy. <laughs> Put on the show. Oh, they, she tell me. Huh. I used to like to go to Memphis because uh, the greatest preacher I thought in the world was going to preach. That man could preach was a preaching machine. Huh. But he did an empty Washington out of New York. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Ooh, he could preach so much like heaven was coming right oh, down man. to you. Ooh, good God. Right, I said, man, I want to preach like that. That's rough. Huh. Huh. Ooh, that man could preach. Huh. Black people are the most gifted preachers it is. Hey, Amen. Hmm. Now the women are preaching. Hmm. Yeah. Now they're trying to tell them, now they're trying to shut y'all down, women. <laughs> That's tough. What's that Negro Gino? Gino. Yeah, he said, God ain't called y'all. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Hmm. That's tough. Huh? That's hmm. what he's saying. Now, God huh. ain't called women the pastor. Hmm. He keep hmm. right on living. He might have somebody pass him over here. That's cool. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Let's move on. Carter G. Woodson. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, hit me that one. Hit me Willie Lynch. I think Willie Lynch would be good to kind of get it kicked off. Huh. It's so much to cover, y'all, and I'm trying to cover. Will Willie Lynch fit in there? Yeah. Mario's magic. Let's see. Well, hold it right there, my love. Willie Lynch started it all from 1619 when we first. See, what they don't tell you is that we as black people, we had already been here uh -huh. in these Americas. We already had been here and lived here. Mm. When you go to South America, they got big old statues of black people mm -hmm. that have already been there and conquered the land. Yeah. They don't tell you. The only thing they show you is somebody on a slave ship. Mm -hmm. Mm. But they won't tell you that we've already been here trading with the Indians way before white folk even got here. That's true. Yeah. So it all started with Willie Lynch mm -hmm. when they started enslaving you to these Americans. Instead of them hanging and beating you and killing you, Willie Lynch had a method. Mm -hmm. Say method. Method. He had a foolproof method how you can keep black people in order. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? Willie Lynch said, slave owners who use a so-called foolproof uh, method of dividing. Mm -hmm. the, worst, the method he had was to divide us. Mm -hmm. He said, divide the slaves with skin color. Uh -huh. Well, I know my place. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be out in the field, okay? That's tough. But maybe somebody like Miss Ingram, she'd be in the house. Or <laughs> Yvonne. I mean, they all be in the house, my goodness. But me, I know my place, okay? That's tough. <laughs> in the field. Divide by skin color, uh -huh. uh, texture of hair, height, and age. And if you teach that in them, they'll be a slave from 400 to 800 years. That's tough. He pronounced a curse mm -hmm. on black people. Hmm. And that curse is still prevalent right now. Mm hmm. Hmm? Mm hmm. Huh. Who does Hollywood depict as the most pretty people? Those that are closest to white. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's some pretty black women. Boy. Oh, yeah. Pretty oh, black, shit, blue, black. Hey, we come in nine shades of brown. Mm hmm. Some of us is white. They had an article about a woman, she was black, but she couldn't tell her husband. Oh, boy. Because her husband was a racist. It was on uh, yeah. over one of the uh -huh. big shows. And she said, I could not tell my husband mm -hmm. that my dad was black. Oh, boy. And he yeah. was a ray, he would have beat her to death. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's pitiful. Huh. But that was Willie Lynch. And the Willie Lynch uh, uh, theory, the Willie Lynch syndrome has been in black people ever since. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Okay. Now, I want to, we're moving on real good. I want to read something now in this book. This book is called The Bible is Black History. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I wish I could promote it, but he ain't paying me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, come on here. Huh. All right, I'm going to read. I can't read all. I'm just going to read some real good points in this book. And, uh, yeah. All right. Now, 
Well, the Time Magazine wrote an article 20 something years ago that the first people were black. Mm -hmm. And it looked like our white brothers, they still trying to find a way to say that the original man wasn't black. Mm -hmm. But every time they go on this experiment and they go through all this DNA and the Y chromosome, they come back to the same uh, position that the first man was black. Uh -huh. I was black. Mm -hmm. Mm. It says, under the leadership of Spencer Wells, the National Geographic Society, in association with IBM, conducted a geographic project launched in April of 2005. The aim of this project was to find the place of origin of the ethnicity of the father of modern humans. The duration of the project was 10 years, and it involved a cadre of genetics who collected DNA samples from indigenous, <clears throat> indigenous communities worldwide. From the DNA sample, DNA and the Y chromosome is your physical makeup. It's all in your body. Mm -hmm. The scientists studied the mutations in the Y chromosome. Their deliberations revealed that there was one mutation in the Y chromosome that was not only common in every man in all of these indigenous communities, but currently exists in every human on the planet. Wow. Hmm. Since chromosomal mutations do not change, but are passed down through generations, researchers hypothesized that if they could pinpoint the first carrier of this particular Y mut mutation, when, when and where it first appeared, it would uncover the identity of the father of modern humankind or the scientific Adam. Mm -hmm. the, ge the geographic project discovered that the origin of the Y chromosomes mutation traced back to East Africa. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. To East Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me finish where I was. East Africa, uh, af okay. Forensic an anthropologists working with the geographic project unearthed 60,000 year old human skulls from the part of Africa where research determined modern humans originate. From one of these ancient skulls, a burst bus was created to, to replay to replay the possible facial features of the world's first modern man. The geographic project, project depiction of the first modern human confirms C. McGee uh, Liver's notion that the Hebrew name Adam implies a man with dark skin. In her book, The Biblical History of Black Mankind, she contends the Hebrew Adam is defined as swarthy, dusky, Reddish brown saw, dark skin like a shadow afar. The saw from which Adam was made, meaning dust, clay, always very black or very dark brown in color. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of these images that our European brothers show, that's not the original man. Every time I got to go to a movie, <clears throat> I just seen a movie the other day with the Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. It's all European. It's not a black person on there. I mean, how much can we keep being dope? Somebody need to write in to the studio and say, y'all need to put some black people in there. Yeah. Yeah. They got Joseph. They got all of them. It's Lily White. Yeah. <laughs> when the Bible said that creation started and the Bible was written in Africa, That's tough. the land of Kush. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh man, they've got a number on us. Hmm. All right. Okay, uh, put me that, uh, put Noah up there. We'll go down and let's talk hmm. about Noah. Well, no, 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 no. Go to Genesis. Genesis. Creation. Put Genesis where God made the man first. Go to, uh, what's happening? Okay. Uh, Genesis 2 and 7. Put that one right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that right, right there. Yeah. No, 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 I'm sorry, uh, just the man. Just the man. Wow. <laughs> there he is. So we know that God made a man and created him from the earth. 
Then evidently, he had to be a man of color. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. He was probably between all of us, black, brown. Hmm. He was probably between all of us. Mm -hmm. The beginning. You know, it don't take a revelation to get this. It takes common sense. Common sense, yeah. <clears throat> you mean we read the Bible and we don't have common sense? Mm. Yep, Lord. Well, if you not have, have never been taught how to critical think, you, you probably don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's one of the things that they don't teach you how to critical think. Yeah. Not us. It takes leaders to teach us how to critical think. Uh -huh. Well, if the Bible was written on the continent of Africa, they never did it. There must have been black and dark people there. Uh -huh. hmm. They got Adam, Lily White. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's right. And we sit up and say, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> That's sad. Who God, I praise you. Yeah. Genesis two thirteen. What does it say, your Mario? Genesis chapter 2, verse Genesis, 13. Your beginnings. What does it say? Genesis chapter 2, 13. Uh huh. Says, uh, and the name of the second river. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. You want to. Uh, Genesis 126, ain't it? Sure. I think it's 126. 126, yep. Come on, uh, Genesis 126. Uh -huh. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us. Let us. Make man in our image. Hold it right there. Let us. He didn't say, let me. Mm. He said, let us. So that proves that it was somebody there with God. Mm -hmm. mm. I know some folk don't believe in the Trinity. That's fine. Mm. Some people believe in just the oneness. That's fine, too. Because mm -hmm. God is all of them. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. I don't believe in three gods. I believe in one God. Mm -hmm. God manifests himself in his son and his spirit. What's that name we call the Holy Spirit? Uh, the, Ru you? the Ruach. The Ruach. The spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. A picture is worth a thousand years because a picture can depict what you think about. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So if you've been thinking about that man and God and Jesus was all white people, then you're thinking the wrong thing. The Bible gives you another perspective on what they look like. Uh-huh. All right. Somebody say black history don't matter. Oh, it, it don't. That's, uh, That's sad. Uh, the question shouldn't be if it matters or not. The question should be why you and I were brainwashed huh. or whitewashed yeah. over the years. If it don't matter, then if it don't matter, then put a bucket of black paint on it yeah, and put it on TV. It don't matter. Yeah, if it don't matter, yeah. Dude. Make it right then. It don't matter. You yep. lying. Yep. It yep. do matter to you. Uh huh. Help, boy. Help. So what we're going to do is bring out the real history Amen. of the Bible. Amen. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah. Y'all been saying that for 400 years. Oh, boy. If it don't matter, how come every time I go in a bank, they think I'm going to rob the bank? Yeah, boy. Because I'm black. Come on here. Uh-oh. I can't even get in the bank. May I help you? Man, I ain't even got up to the counter. <laughs> Y'all saying it don't matter. Okay. Yes, sir. Say that to a person that's, <laughs> say that to non-black people, but to uh -huh. black people, it matters. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go in the store, they think you're gonna steal something. Yeah. Uh, any yeah. any y'all ever experienced Oh, yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They look at you funny, you go certain places. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> go rent a room at a hotel, they look at you. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Leave a thousand. Certain things that I was put in me, I still have to work on these things. Uh huh. Mm. 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 Willie Lynch told y'all to never pay uh, one another, the black people, no attention. Don't trust black people. You know, we have a problem not trying to trust one another, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. First thing we know, oh, is he going to be on time? Do, <laughs> hey, does he do good work? <laughs> yeah. Y'all know how it works. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, mm hmm Yeah. I remember one time we went to the hospital, and a certain doctor up there was was, was a black doctor. She was a female. And one of my loved ones, like, she's what a black dumb woman. Oh, my goodness. That's sad. Why come we can't be doctors? Yeah. And lawyers. That's sad. Well, I don't blame them. I blame what's been put in them through the years. Uh -huh. Non-trust. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. What I tell you, go. Let us make man what? Our image. Our image, and our what? Likeness. Likeness. The Hebrews worship God because the way they were taught that God looked like them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. 
He made them in his image and likeness, so they would always talk to Hebrew people. Uh -huh. Not these European Jews, but the Hebrew. They would all talk, God look like me. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, evidently he did. He do look like you because he made you. Amen. In his image. Mm -hmm. In his image and in his what? Likeness. likeness. Uh -huh. I'm going to throw him for a loop. But God's a spirit. He made me a spirit, but God also made us in his likeness. Yes, he did. He had a body. Mm hmm. Evidently, he had a body. Yeah, he had a body. That's going to really throw no. him <laughs> When Jesus was raised from the dead, he had a body. Yep. Mm hmm. He didn't come back as no spirit. Uh, no. He had a body that can't be destroyed. Sure, uh -huh. Same way you're going to get a body. Amen. Hallelujah. He was flesh and bone, not flesh and blood. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because in the, in the blood is where the life is. Uh huh. So he just made a body just flesh and bone. Amen. Oh, Amen. my God. Oh, hey, boy. when you go to heaven, you're going to look just like you are now. Yes. In mm -hmm. another form. Amen. Hmm. Yes. Some people say if they go, I don't want to be with you. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Okay, come on. Let's go. Ooh, God is so good. All right. Uh, uh, go to Genesis two and seven. I got just a few minutes, y'all. Genesis two. Genesis two and seven. What it say? And the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils. And did what? Breathe into Ooh. his nostrils. Can you see the power of God? Mm -hmm. Just breathe, man. He woke up. My mm -hmm. God. Hmm. He was there, just a big old piece of dirt. And God shaped him and formed him. He said, That's what I want to look like. Put his hair on and, and <laughs> shape his toes. His, oh my God, you talking about the God we serve is a creative God. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. And then he just laying there and God just, just, uh huh. And Adam just swoop, woke up. Mm -hmm. A living soul. Come hmm. on, good. What else to say? And breathed uh, the breath of life, uh -huh. and man became a living soul. Man became. Mm -hmm. A living intellect, mm -hmm. five senses. Mm -hmm. He become what God wanted him to become. See, we operate in a natural world. Mm -hmm. A spirit can't operate down here. A spirit has That's to have a body. body. Mm -hmm. That's why the devil has to possess people uh -huh. for him to operate. That's true. He possessed people like who? Hitler. Uh huh. And terrible people. Yeah. Why? They open up so he, the demon could come in. Yep. That's it. You can't come here not on this planet Earth being no spirit. No, uh -huh. you ain't. You ain't coming here. And when you leave here, it's a whole different game. But right here on this planet Earth, uh -huh. we all natural, ain't we? Amen. <laughs> you have to have a body. Because think about it. You can't see no spirit anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, black people can easily become spiritual because we've been so superstitious over the years. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> Voodoo. Uh-huh. Black magic, come on mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Putting a curse on people. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And God want to take that and make us spiritual with him. You ever heard of gifts of the spirit? Uh huh. The only person I've seen in my ministry that had the real gifts of the spirit mm -hmm. operating in him, I ain't going to call his name, but I've never seen nothing like that in my life. He sat down here in a restaurant <clears throat> getting ready to eat. I probably tell y'all that. Mm -hmm. And he was being used by God with the gifts. Mm -hmm. And a woman mm -hmm. walked in, white woman. Mm -hmm. You seen that woman? Woman sat at the table crying. He got up, went over to the woman. He said, your sister's in the hospital dying with cancer. God said he going to heal her. That woman bought her. <laughs> and God said, I'm going to heal you. She was sick mm -hmm. too. Uh -huh. How did he know that? Huh. Through the spirit of God. Amen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Supernatural. Mm -hmm. God wants us to operate in the supernatural uh -huh. so we can uh -huh. see things mm -hmm. and hear things. Mm -hmm. God won't let his people know what's going to happen on this planet Earth yes. before it happens. Uh -huh. Why would God let all this stuff overtake you? Well, he already said it in Matthew's gospel, a new style of what's going to take place. But we need more of an insight. Yes, uh -huh. that's true. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. what was that? Now, what, did you finish that? Mario, what did you say? Uh, that was, you know, man, he, uh, he farm man. What was that? Uh, 17? Yeah, I finished. You finished that? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Now get with me. Now we find out God made Adam, and Adam was taken from the dirt. Now give me that other picture right there, and I'm gonna close out, y'all. I got seven minutes. <laughs> after, after God made Adam, then Adam named everything. Then Adam needed 
I help me. I can pray. Somebody said, that's when the hell started. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, ladies, I'm just playing with you. Oh, yeah. that's tough. Uh, he, he, he took that sweet girl right out of his mind. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, people need to know their role in mm -hmm. a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when he took her out of the, out of the side, they were equal. Uh -huh. huh? It wasn't no, uh, I'm going to whoop your butt, I'm going to dominate you, shut mm -hmm. up, you know. Mm -hmm. I was teasing this Muslim because they don't believe women should do nothing. I was telling this thing when we was at the choir practice and I kept doing this to her. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know, boy, you just busted out like Oh, my goodness. That's tough. <laughs> they think the American women over here is crazy. Oh, boy. Uh, it's like she's working with this guy from Africa. Mm. Now, don't think you're going to come from Africa and take your practice in America with these women over here. No, no. No, no. You no. better leave that over there. Yeah, they're going uh, I mean, women ain't going to be bound down to you. And, yeah. and, and worse than all, these women here is a whole different yeah, ballgame. So leave that stuff in Africa and you get with what's going on in America. <laughs> That's sad. That's just the way That's it is. Tough. Mm. And we got to deal with it. Uh -huh. mm. The best way to keep a woman happy is to is to do nice things to her. Mm -hmm. Compliment her. Mm -hmm. huh? Hey, take out the trash. <laughs> ah, let's go. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> One day I got mad. I didn't feel like taking that trash. I'm going to be like my nephew. He had the trash so high and he was throwing stuff on top. I said, man, take out the trash. You can't get no more in there. Let's go. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, let the wife, let her express herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because if she really loves you, she ain't going nowhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's a old boy with a silver tongue around there. <laughs> but she ain't going nowhere. You, no. you know, we don't even know how, you know, most people, man, they don't really know how to treat a woman. Huh? At least I didn't. Hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I tried. Uh, when we out, I tried to open the door for my wife. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, my, you know, my knees don't permit it, so. <laughs> but you always treat right. a woman with respect. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Friend of mine, Tiffany, he said, boy, before he passed away, he called me up. He said, Larry, this woman I got, that woman snows so hard. I couldn't even go to sleep. He said, he said, it, and he was just playing around her guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's cold. That ain't the way you treat no woman. You she snores, and honey, you need a little help. Can I help you? Stop <laughs> snoring, because you know what? I can't sleep. That's rough. Huh. You know, why well, I said I was snoring the other night. I said, I wasn't me. He said, yes, you were. Oh, boy. <laughs> so treat rough. one another with respect. Uh-huh. Huh? Adam and Eve, man, they had it going. They had it going on. Mm -hmm. Adam was the king, she was his queen. Mm -hmm. And they was just ruling everything God had before, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and like I say, they, they were created in the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. which is Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls it Cush. Cush. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Until. The lie came in with old Satan. Yeah. Old Satan always jump up, don't he? Uh huh. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. See, the devil know that he got to have a body. Uh huh. The snake used to walk upright. Mm. Until the fall. Yeah. Now he's cursed to crawl on his belly. That's tough. So the devil had invaded a body uh -huh. and tricked my beloved Eve. Mm. And she ate of the what forbidden. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when she ate of it, her eyes mm -hmm. become open mm -hmm. to know good and evil. Mm -hmm. You know, before that, they were all, can I say this, buck naked. Mm. Mm. Now, don't you go get buck naked now and go outside, please. <laughs> they didn't know. But this is the way they were, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they were all innocent. Uh -huh. They were innocent mm -hmm. until the fall. And then when they failed and they wanted to get fig leaves, didn't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. And God was just walking through. He knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. And God back. said, where are you? They said, we'll be hiding. He said, who told you? Mm -hmm. And he knew right then mm -hmm. that 
they had violated it. Yeah. Adam wasn't deceived. It was Eve. Mm-hmm. Because Adam knew. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Uh-huh. God gives the man the authority with the wife mm-hmm. this time. Now, after the fall, mm-hmm. now he said, now, women, I don't mean this to be cruel, okay? <laughs> but the Bible said he's going to rule over you. Uh-oh. And most men took that the wrong way, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like when I was doing this to my wife. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Bible said, now, rule don't mean dominate mm-hmm. and walk on. Mm-hmm. But to huh? protect. protect. Mm-hmm. 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 Somebody try to mess with your wife, mm-hmm. what you gonna do? You gonna protect them? Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. Somebody try to mess with your children, mm-hmm. what you gonna do? You gonna protect them? Mm-hmm. Got them, lead them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, I got one more scripture and we getting out of here, y'all. Okay, Genesis, the, the second chapter, you got that? Genesis 2, 220. What did it say? Genesis 220. Genesis chapter 2, verse 20. Uh-huh. And, and Adam gave names to all the cattle, mm-hmm. to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was found there was not found and help me for him. Uh, he didn't have nobody. It took him. I was talking to a friend of mine. He's been married three times. He said, you know what? I've been married all this time now. All I want is peace. I'm living by myself now. I've got rid of all my kids and stuff. Uh-huh. Huh. Is that all I want is peace? Well, I didn't want peace too. I had all of them. Let come on there. That's cool. You know, you can hear. He admitted, yeah, I can wreck the whole Adam's life. Boy, that's cool. I wrecked my own life doing that. Mm. But he said, all I want now is peace. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, you can't do nothing. You can't yeah. carry on like you used to. So, yeah, it's, it's, God is talking to you now. Slow down, get saved, and be peaceful. That's tough. Mm. What does he say? We're going to quit. We're going to quit. Let you go. And the Lord caused a deep sleep uh, to deep. fall upon Adam. That anesthesia, isn't that what you're taking up? Oh my God, boy. One mistake with that anesthesia, you out of here. Oh boy, yeah. Come on here. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Why did he do that? He just went, but that's God. Mm-hmm. He didn't need no knife. <clears throat> he didn't need to put you on oxygen. Hmm. He just took one of those, just went in there. Uh huh. The master surgeon. Uh huh. Took a rib out. Mm-hmm. And did come read on. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man mm-hmm. made he a woman. Made he a whoa. Mm-hmm. Man. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody said, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's tough. I remember one time we was in a hotel with his wife and they didn't want to give us the good rooms. And my nephew, I didn't know what was going on. He, he went and told my aunt. She was a strong willed black woman. And he told her, he said, Oh, I shouldn't have told her. Uh-oh. He said, The hell this started now. <laughs> Boy, they got rough on it. Read off what's that? I'm gonna we get her in the clothes, y'all. What is that? And brought her unto the man. And brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones. Bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh. And flesh. We're going to stop right there. We'll stop with the woman and we'll move on in the next episode. Yes. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful yes. meeting of biblical black history. Yes. God, I thank you that we touch somebody with truths in the word of God and history that proves out that the original man was black mm. and a man of color. Yes. We all derive from Adam who was taken from Mother Earth. Mm. We thank you, God, for a transformation as we accept Jesus as our Savior, that we have a transformation of our lives. Mm-hmm. Jesus is the second Adam, which is far better because he gives us eternal life. Hallelujah. He gives us life right now. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Mm-hmm. And we praise you, God. We pray for those that are unsaved, that they'll have a mind that want to get saved. Yes. They'll have a mind that they ask the question, what must I do to be saved? Pray that you would touch and stir everywhere. Touch those that are sick and those that are afflicted. Yes, Lord. Those that are confused. Mm. Those that have trauma. Help you. Help those that have drama. Mm. 
Lord, let them know that there's deliverance in the name of Yeshua, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You said in the last days that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord yes, Lord. shall be saved. Yes, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And they all said, Amen. 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 Well, thank you, ladies.